Hi guys, okay, so today's video I'm super excited to do because it's going to be all about hair products that I use to get my hair this healthy and to maintain the health of my hair. And as you can probably tell, my hair is dark again. And no, this is not previously recorded. Before I had red hair, I decided to go back to the color I had originally because while I love, love, love the red hair, it is so high maintenance. And um, you might have seen in the previous video that I uploaded, but um, yeah, so it is very high maintenance. And it's not that I didn't want to maintain it, it's just that I just got sick and tired of having to do it. I felt like every two to three weeks. And I mean, that's a lot. And I put a lot of time into getting my hair super healthy. So I kind of wanted to keep it that way. Anyway, so um, let's just jump into it. As far as my hair color goes, um, I did save the box. It's the Garnier Nutrice uh, Nourishing Color Foam. That is what it looks like. The color that I did my hair in is soft black. And the reason I wanted to include this is because it is a whole lot less harsh when you are coloring your hair. Um, it does have a lot of um, essential oils in it, which does help to maintain the health of your hair. So I really do um, recommend this coloring brand a lot. I think it's very um, safe and easy to use on your hair. So that is what I used for my hair. Um, I didn't know if I should film a video about it, but literally I just used the foam, pumped it out in my hand, and then dispersed it through my hair like I would shampoo. So that's pretty much it. So that's why I didn't feel it necessary to uh, record a video on it. I guess starting off with shampoo and conditioner, um, I love the John Frieda Full Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. This is just a little mini travel size of the shampoo. I use both this and the conditioner on my hair. Um, I really, really, really noticed a difference like right off the bat first using it. Um, I did switch to another shampoo. I did end up using the Riveting Reds and then the John Frieda for the red hair line um, while my hair was red, but I've since gone back to this since my hair is dark. and I. Do highly recommend this. I have noticed a difference in the health of my hair since using these. So when I get out of the shower, I just kind of quickly towel dry my hair a little bit just to get most of the excess water off. And then I like to use the Redken Anti-Snap. Um, it's an anti-breakage serum. And I use that in conjunction with It's a 10. I normally just take a couple pumps of each of these and then just work them through my hands and then starting at the end of my roots working my way upward because um, I tend to get kind of oily around my roots as most people do. So I start at the end of my hair and work my way up and then you know just let that sit for a moment. Once I'm done with that step generally like what I like to do is use the Garnier Fertiques uh, Fertiques Triple Nutrition Nutrient Spray. That is what it looks like. It's going to look separated in the bottle. What you want to do is shake it up and just kind of spray a couple sprays. It helps detangle your hair and it adds a lot of shine. It says it has three um, nutritive fruit oils, avocado shea, and olive. So I really like that. I've really noticed a big difference in the way that my hair looks. It looks a whole lot shinier in appearance and I'm um, a whole lot healthier. So I really, really, really recommend this. As far as heat tamer spray goes, I really do love the Tresemme um, Professionals Thermal Creations uh, line. Um, I do like this one a lot. I find it works great for my hair at least. It's relatively inexpensive and easy to find. So I definitely recommend that. That's what I use for my heat tamer. After I am done uh, drying my hair, what I generally like to do is normally I'll just use the macadamia healing oil treatment. That is what it looks like. This was fairly inexpensive as well. I got this at Ulta. I believe it was like five or six bucks. And really all I do is just take it with the cap off dump it on my hand like that and then whatever comes comes out of my hand is all I use and I just kind of rub it together through the palms of my hand and then go through the ends of my hair just to make them look a whole lot softer. Um, I also really like using the Josie Maron 100% uh, pure argan oil. That's what it looks like. I picked this up from Sephora um, and I, I don't know if I said I picked this up from Sephora or Ulta. I think I said Ulta but I did get it from Ulta but I picked this one up from Sephora. If you don't have a Sephora by you um, and you want a cheaper route, you can go ahead and use that one. But, you know, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Sometimes um, I use either one, but all the time I put an oil in my hair, if that makes any sense. So, moving on. Um, on the days, I try to go every other day without washing my hair as best as I can because, for one, it strips your natural oils, which in turn causes your hair to produce more oils and... Um, you know, that's not exactly something that I want. I kind of want to produce less oil since I'm just a hot, oily mess, apparently. Um, but I try to go every other day without um, shampooing my hair. And to do that in the off days, I like to use a dry shampoo. 
I have tried so many dry shampoos, it's not even funny. Um, the one I've been most recently trying and most recently loving is the Oscar Blondie Volumizing Dry Shampoo for Dark Hair. Um, I did say that I wasn't going to get this because it was a little bit on the pricey side, about $22 I think this was. 22 to 25 um, but you know what honestly if you're someone that likes you know you're very particular about your dry shampoos then I would recommend it only because it does spray on clear it has no white cast whatsoever let me repeat no white cast whatsoever I know a ton of dry shampoos sit there and say that they don't have a white cast and guess what they definitely do so this 100% um, does not form a white cast what I would recommend if you're going to use a dry shampoo that does have a white cast um, I would recommend if you know that you are not going to be washing your hair the next day, spraying it all over your roots, you know, wherever you need it, the night before, and just sleeping in it. By the time you wake up, it's absorbed the oil, and most of the dry, um, most of the dry shampoo has been absorbed into your hair, and it will not appear as white. And then when you get up in the morning, just brush through and kind of, you know, refresh in style as needed, and you're good to go. And then the last couple things that I want to mention that have made a difference as far as my hair care and styling go. Um, the first is the Got To Be Powderful. That's what it looks like. The concept behind this, if you haven't seen it, is just kind of either sprinkle it on your roots or sprinkle it on your hands. Just kind of work it through your roots and um, it makes your hair a whole lot more volumized. I kind of like rotating this with teasing my hair because I know that teasing your hair is not the best thing to do. So this kind of just allows you to get some volume without having to be so damaging to your hair. And then the final thing that I want to mention is the Garnier Fruitiques um, Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray. That is what it looks like. It smells really good, it holds really good, and it does give a really nice shine to my hair, which appears everything to be a whole lot healthier. Um, there's no frizz. I just, I really do enjoy this product line in general, and this has been my uh, favorite hairspray for months and months and months. So that was my favorite products, everything that I've used um, and to get my hair as healthy as it has been. Um, as do you want to give a quick shout out? I don't have it on hand, but I do definitely want to give a quick shout out to the Macadamia um, Natural Oil uh, Hair Mask. That is a great product. I do love that as well, and I have used that uh, for many, many months, and I have been using all of these products for many, many months, and I'm very, very, very happy with them. They've done wonders for my hair. Um, I just can't say enough good things about them. So those are my um, products that I use um, and have been using to get my hair as healthy as it is, as it has been. I've done my hair so much with over the last couple months and those have really helped. So I hope this video was helpful guys and as always, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.